hello, hello, hello. All you beautiful, wonderful people. And Mac decided he wanted to be in the video. Of course, I really, I think he just wants to be held and petted. And he's more a little upset that I'm busy than wanting to be at the video. But um, he has been wonderful to have around on this trip. And first of all, I want to apologize. But look, there's no makeup. I'm still in lack of um, sleep stage. Amanda's doing better. Thank you for um, all the well wishes. So I wanted to, um, and welcome to the channel. And if you're new here, this is Gangalize Treasures. My name is Renee. My daughter and I go on um, thrifting adventures. My mom was an antique dealer. She uh, grew up during the Depression, knew how to spread a dollar make it go as far as it could and uh, we would love to share our adventures with you and this is part two hi Sophie there's Sophie maybe she'll come be in the video too um, this is part two of the st. Louis antiques and I believe we are at the big Ben antique mall or the big Ben antique gallery place is really really big and um, so we did have to turn it into two parts and in fact we didn't see the whole place so we also have the good fortune of looking at, ahead into going back if you haven't seen part one you need to go back and do that I um, wanted to thank everybody thank you so much um, for your likes and for your comments I enjoy reading the comments I enjoy um, learning from everybody um, if you see something during the video that you think I should have got that, let me know in the comments. Um, most of the things in the first video, um, that we got, or that I looked at and thought about buying for resale, um, I actually looked up and most of them priced at about the same price they they were on eBay so there wasn't any room to buy anything for resale but those antique stores you never know what you're gonna find it's like going to their store um, there was a seven dollar glass bowl in um, the first video that I could have gotten I probably should have looked it up you know the, um, the large art glass um, from Finland could have been something good at $38 um, I did look up the the artist and there there weren't any other large um, art glass paperweights for me to be able to judge whether $38 was um, a low enough price that there would be room for us to resell um, we do appreciate each and every one of you and I wanted to say please like, please comment on the video, please hit the subscription so you know when our new videos come out. Um, the uh, thrifting and antique videos, we are getting into the routine of putting those up on Wednesdays and Fridays. I know Wednesdays was late because it was on Thursday because we're going to have their surgery. And um, today's is going to be up late, but it's still going to be up on Friday um, for those of us here in the United States. And just wanted to say how much we appreciate you and we're grateful to you when you come along with us on the adventures. And I'm not going to put any stickers in because, you know, I've already said go ahead and like, please comment, please subscribe. You know, hit that um, notification bell so you know when the, when the videos come out. And so without further ado, and Max getting a little, um, moving around a little bit here. Without further ado, let's get to part two and let's see if we find any treasure in this part of the episode. See you in the blink of an eye. Mac, can you tell him bye? Tell him bye.
coil. We just stacked up all those coils. It's kind of pretty. It's musical, okay. <laughs> Thought that was gonna be really heavy. Must be, it's really light resin. Need some coffee. Get you through the day. Maybe it would be better to fill it up with chocolate. That is a huge mug. So much prettiest to look at. Don't know what I wanna. Let's say that that was. Maybe in the pond, but I don't, my brother's not here to decipher the letters. Oh my gosh, it's purple. It's so, oh, it's heavy. I did not expect that. A little wear in the bottom, but you can see. Very pretty. 24. These drawers are open on this desk and it's. Look at the swirl. My question is, should we get them? Because these would actually fit in the coffee well, maker. That's a that's that's you shopping for you. <laughs> Need scrap paper scissors. Are you the one who threw the scissors at me? Nope. It really means they're both mine. Right. But this stuff is two dollars. Okay. Top three shelves, two dollar items. Should have a maker's mark on it. How pretty the glass is in the window. Only the tea. Did you see that set at the other place for Amanda? It had these canisters, which had all of them. You had tea, sugar, coffee, barley, you even had the vinegar and oil. You have a pumpkin teapot. Do you want the um, camera this time? What? Do you want the camera this time? No. Okay. Let me know when you're on your way. Oh, 
those are heavy. So pretty with the frosting. They almost look like um, whipped. Oh, is that a four? Only ten dollars. Um, they almost look like whipped wax. Colorful canister. Thought it said cookies. It's scarecrow. Mid century modern. You can use as a credenza and put all your linens in there or a dresser. Jewelry on sale. Wow, $3 silver plate. <laughs> well, I'm going to get up. I can't figure out how to see it and move the porcelain cake stand. Hmm. Like, why aren't they together? Now, if you want a cheese grater, this is the one you want to get. Because it will really grate cheese. Not real good if you have arthritis, though. Is this one of those, um, I don't know why I'm asking you. They're like a donut, but you cook part of it and you put stuff in the middle and you keep turning it in the little round thing till it cooks it all the way around and it's... I think you made that up. No, I didn't. I saw it on TV. Honest. All y'all help me. Ooh, they got scoopies. Looky. Only want one. It's not gonna... It's not gonna give me one. It's gonna give me two. Can't sure film. it's not. I'm done. I can't film anymore. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Look at the ornate carvings on there and the old handles. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it's only $195. If I only had room. Plus of drawers. Is it tongue and groove? So tongue and groove is here how they move my finger out of the way tongue and groove is here where part of the wood comes in and part of the wood comes in that way so they stick together this is that's a sign that it's old my, my, my. okay i gotta walk away that's a steal for 195 dollars <laughs> Drawers all work well. Original hardware. Man. On a cherry set. This is getting really confusing. There's two different um, radios going on. Vera Wang. More books. Beautiful bed. Looks like it might be oak. Maybe maple. Beautiful corner stand. Blue pottery vase. Very pretty. But no maker's mark. And Amanda's way down there. I don't know how she gets so far ahead of me. That's a 
nice teacup idea to have a lid on it to keep it. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Mug mates. So as always, remember if I missed something that I definitely should have looked at, if there's something that you're like, oh my gosh, I would have bought that, you know, let me know in the comments. And I have a feeling I'm going to have to do a voiceover because I can hear the music. That is contemporary and it's metal. The fishy plate, nineteen dollars. Some floral chairs, some vases, some lamps. Oh, I wonder if Amanda saw that. Oh. That place had lots of wonderful stuff to look at. <laughs> and um, about eighteen aisles to go down. <laughs> And we only went down about nine. So this is one of those places we will have to come back to. And the only thing that we walked out with um, was a gift for somebody. So there will be no haul uh, for this video. But if you are in the area in St. Louis, it just goes on and on and on. And I think that's why it's called a gallery. Yeah, because, and you know me, I just kind of drooled over the wood and found lots of wonderful stuff there just wasn't anything priced right for us to be able to buy and sell to resell and make a profit um, what did you find saw that you liked the best I saw plenty of coal um, and what's it called Benton no that green stuff it's like the duck that new he has I don't know what he has the green? It's like green with like brown and it starts with an F. Franken. You know, Frankenware. <laughs> Frankenware. I've never heard of it. Maybe we should go back. And Frank Oma. Okay, there we go. There's a um, tree peony Frank Oma dish and a chips and dips dish and a serving bowl. Mm -hmm. But the last one that sold, sold for like $6.50. And they wanted, and they wanted 12 here. Yeah, and we also, um, I probably talked about it in the video, but the mushroom print that the fryer had painted. We wanted $90. Uh -huh. had $90 for it. And I'm painting this big, and I was like, that's, that's out of my budget, I think. The other one next to it was his also, they weren't 180, oh and it was just about twice as big. But on eBay, maybe it's different if you're an art collector, um, his last mushroom one sold for about $26. I mean, I love mushrooms, but I'm not in love with mushrooms. So. Yeah. Wouldn't be something that we would buy for ourselves. There's definitely not enough room there. So, this was uh, St. Louis Antiques Part 1 for the... What's the name of the place again? That's the Big Bend Antique Gallery. We're about to go across the street to the Big Bend Antique Mall, which is a different establishment. So make sure you hang out for part two. See you then.